Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's Up Wednesday um, for Wednesday, November 6th. Um, today, we're going to be covering um, the property flyers, how you can edit those, where you go to do that, I mean, the different things you can do with them. And then next week, we'll be covering the CMA report that you can create in our system. Um, super easy to do. Uh, so we'll be going through that next week. And today we have a promo going. Our promo today is um, if you order property flyers, because you can order property flyers from us. If you order property flyers for one of your listings, on your first order, we will give you 25 additional flyers for free. So place your first flyer order with us and we'll give you an additional 25 for free so that you can see what the flyers are like and everything. Um, Single-sided, they are 82 cents a piece and double-sided, they are 90 cents a piece. So that kind of gives you an estimate of how much they cost. But if you do place your first order with us for the property flyers, then we will give you 25 additional for free. So just give us a call to get that going for one of your listings. Um, and just a few things that are new-ish or new, um, they are, you may have heard them if you've been on here every week, but I like to go through them for anybody that's new. Um, on our properties page, <clears throat> if you go to property and then properties, you're going to notice um, an extra row of links. Things look a little bit different here. Um, the extra row of links, we're trying to make it easier to get to certain aspects of our system without having to do more than one click. Um, so you'll see that we did, we do display the text code up here now so you can quickly find out what the text code is for a listing. You can still click on it if you want to edit that. You have your important links for a listing here. You can just click on OH times if you want to put in open house dates and times. The YouTube icon will take you right to the YouTube generator section if you need to authorize us to post to your channel or if you need to generate a video. This flyers icon will take you right to your property flyers, which that's where we'll be going today. And then this present, uh, the presentation is for the listing presentation. So just a couple of easy ways to get to certain things in the system. We wanted to make it easier for you to get there. Um, some of the bigger features in the system. So that's a change you'll see here. Um, also, uh, remember that we now automatically add on the property site pop up to help with lead generation. So you'll see here, when someone goes to the property website, it, this is going to automatically pop up for them to register um, so that you can get some more lead generation going with your, um, with your property websites. Um, so they can either fill out the information or they can do it really easily and do the continue with Facebook where it will fill in the information for you or for them. Um, so that's another new feature we've got. So it automatically will show up on any property that you create in our system. Um, you don't have to turn it on or anything like that. Um, another new thing we have that has been asked for and requested by agents um, is half sizes for garages, which now you can put in um, half sizes. It used to not let you put half sizes in, but now when you go to put in property information, you can now put in two and a half garages and it will save as two and a half garages. Usually used to, it wouldn't do that, but you can see it does save like that now. So you do have the option for half sizes in garages. Um, so and that one's, I think that came out earlier this week or at the end of last week where we made that change. <clears throat> so a couple of new things. Um, also don't forget about our advanced search, our IDX search for your personal website so that people can search for listings. Um, that is a great way to get people onto your website and to get leads going so that they can search or properties. Um, we have the basic search you can set up or the advanced search, which has amazing detailed search fields to search by like high school district, specific high school, um, subdivision, different things like that, depending on your MLS. Um, there is the additional charge for either one of those, but either one is well worth it because you can really have a website that is useful uh, for people who visit it. And then you have the lead generation pop up on that property. I mean, on that personal website search page as well. Okay, so let's get going with property flyers. So obviously we create property flyers automatically for each listing you put in here. Um, and all you have to do to get to those is go to property and then properties, which is where we're at, we're right on our properties page. 
Um, and then you just have to click on the flyers button right here. Once you click on flyers, it's going to open up uh, the flyer uh, setup section, the flyer edit section for that listing. And the first thing you're probably going to want to do is go to select a design. Um, you can choose any of these designs. There's 10 of them to choose from. So you would just choose which one. Some are different obviously with the layout, um, <clears throat> but also with the number of pictures they have. So depending on how many pictures you want, you can choose that specific layout. So we will go with this one. Um, you'll see it pulls in all the photos, the description, bed, bath, garages, all your information. Something to remember, any of these things you see in brackets, because you'll see price is in brackets, website is in brackets, text code is in brackets. You don't need to do anything with those sections because what's going to happen with these is we're going to autofill that information for you. Um, that way, if anything ever changes, like say the, pr you, you, the price changes, we're going to automatically update that price as long as you leave these brackets alone. Um, say you go and change the text code, we'll automatically change that. So you just need to leave those as they are here so that it will automatically pull that information for the listing. And I'll show you what that looks like on a listing here when we're finished. Um, but you'll notice as I'm clicking on things, it's highlighting it. So that means that wherever you want to make any changes, say you wanted to change the, um, the description a little bit because it, the whole thing doesn't fit onto the flyer. So you wanna just change it up a little bit. You can do that. You can just you know, delete something if you want to. Um, click update text and that will update your flyer. Hold on just one second, it may be slow. Um, so you can just do that. You can click if you wanna change that information and then if you wanna change the photos for your flyer, flyer, excuse me, all you have to do is click on the photos and then it's gonna pull up all of the photos for that property so that you can change the photos just for that flyer. You don't have to change photos for the entire property website. So you can just change the photo and then it's gonna show you automatically where that, what that new photo looks like. Um, so you can change it to see which one you like better and then you can go from there. So there's your photos, really easy to change out, description really easy to change. Um, so it's really simple flyer setup here. Then once you're all ready to go here, you can go over to edit flyer options. And that's where you're gonna get the colors. So that's where you can change the color, the primary color, um, and then you get your whole color wheel here where it will change automatically. You can see it change there, very bright pink. Um, but you can change it and that will update so you can see what that color looks like. And then your secondary color, if there is one, you can change that here as well. It doesn't look like this one has that secondary. Oh, there's the secondary color right there. So you can change that secondary color depending on the layout. It could be a little bit different as to how much that secondary color shows. So you can do all of that. Once you're done, make sure you obviously you want to click save so that it saves your flyer. Then you have the option to view or download the PDF if you want to do that. You also have global flyer settings. Global flyer settings, once you click on that, it's going to take you to property options. And this is for every property. This will, these changes you make here will, will flow down to any brochure for any property in, the, in, the, in your agent marketing account. So here you can choose to turn the property flyers off neighborhood flyers on or off. Um, you can choose a default layout for your flyers. If there's a particular layout you are very much liking that you want it to be for every property um, without having to go in and physically do it for each listing, you can make that change here so that you can have, make sure that every property you add in will have that specific flyer layout. You can even do the colors so that all of the colors are the same if you have specific branding and things you wanna, you want to be consistent with. Um, and then you can turn on and off the Realtor MLS logo, QR code, text code, <clears throat> and then the default area radius would be for the neighborhood flyer. Um, and you can change that here as well. And then obviously you want to make sure you click save in the top left. And then that will save all of the global flyer options for any property. Um, I mentioned the neighborhood flyer just a second ago. We do have that also in here that you can come in and edit. So if you just click on neighborhood flyer, if it's the first time you're doing the neighborhood flyer, it may tell you you need to generate it and then there's a button to just click generate flyer. 
Um, so that would be an additional step if you haven't been here yet. So then you'll see the neighborhood flyer here. Um, you can go in and you can change just like the other one photo that shows um, the description if you want, all those kind of things you can change right here as well. Remember to leave website and price and text code alone so that it automatically will fill in the correct information in those different fields. Um, the really neat thing about this flyer is that you can control what shows up because this is like a what's nearby flyer. So you're going to get to control what shows. So right here in this section, all you have to do to edit this section is click on it and then it's going to come up with your list. Um, it is going to show the first five items on the active list. So remember that. So the top five, one, two, three, four, five, this is what will show on this list on the flyer. So whatever you want, you need to make sure it's the top five on your list. Um, so and all you have to do to change something out, if we wanna take that out, there's your top five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is what's gonna show. If you don't want something to show, move it back over. If you want something different to show, like say you want to show gyms, you're gonna put that right there. So that's gonna be the five that show. You just move back and forth, which ones you want to show or which ones you don't want to show. Then you're gonna click, so we added gym. So we're gonna click save and refresh flyer, confirm. And then you're gonna see, it's now made that change for you. So you can immediately see the difference. Um, so these, this area will show you the nearest of these things, nearest library, nearest school, nearest gas station. Then you've got this area over here, what's nearby in 29 miles, okay? So you've got all of these different things, it shows how many of, of certain things are in that specific area. If you wanna change that, all you have to do is click on that. We make it really easy. Um, it says here, select up to, up to six items to show. So make sure you have up to six. If you have seven, that seventh won't show. So you can unclick the ones you don't want. Um, so let's say we want to show, a gym. again, you wanna show the gym. So how many gyms are in the area? Um, and maybe you want to show um, gas stations. So once you have six highlighted, it's then going to blank out the other ones. So you can't choose any more. So that lets you know you've got your six. So we've got gym and gas station, library, park, restaurant, and school. Um, and then you also have control over the radius. So if it's like a small area or community, you can, you can really hone in on that. Um, if it's a larger city that this house is in, you can go up higher. So we'll just go small, we'll say 15 maybe. Um, and then you're gonna save and refresh flyer and then confirm. And then you're gonna see that those changes have been made here. Um, now it's back down to 15 and it's got, it reflects how many of each of these are in that 15 mile radius. So this is a really neat flyer to take advantage of um, that you can, you can use so people can see all these different things that are nearby. Make sure you click save, of course. Um, then another thing you'll see over here is it says additional flyers. You can upload your own. If you have specific flyers that you use all the time um, and they work for you, you can upload those here up to three. It will take the place of these. These will not show up if you have your own flyers uh, here. Uh, but you do have that ability to upload your own. Now, well, let's go check out the flyers. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll view the PDF because I want you to see what happens with this bracketed information here. So once you click view, it will open up. This is what it would look like on your property website because there is that flyer um, menu button on your property website too. Um, but here's the property flyer that we chose, our colors we chose um, and everything like that, our pictures. Um, and you'll see, here's that bracketed information with price. This was also bracketed information. And then your text code was also that bracketed information. Um, so see, you can see that it automatically fills in that information for you. So you don't have to do anything with that. See, here it is again, where it had the word website in brackets. It had the word price in brackets and it had the word text code in brackets. And there, as you see right here, we fill it in with the appropriate information so you don't have to worry about that. So just leave those alone um, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, so that's what they would look like on when you download them. Um, like I said, if you want to place a property flyer print order with us, um, you can get 25 additional flyers for free um, for that property. So um, you can just give us a call to place that property flyer order. Um, and then we'll include 25 additional flyers as well. 
Um, Single-sided flyers are 82 cents a piece, double-sided are 90 um, cents a piece. And so just give us a call if you wanna place that first um, property flyer order and we'll give you, like I said, 25 additional flyers for free. Okay, so I want to open it up to questions about the property flyer section. If anybody has any questions for me, um, please let me know. I will sit here and hang out for a minute, a couple of minutes to answer any questions. Remember, like I always say every week, if you ever have questions after this is over, give our support team a call. You'll see their number up here in the top right. Um, the little chat is down here in the bottom right. Um, you will see that as well. There's the chat. Um, and that goes to the same support team. Our support team is here in-house. So um, they're super amazing. And um, they answer the phone right away. You don't have to sit in a queue for anything. So just keep that in mind. If you ever need help, don't dread calling the support team because it's not like other support teams out there. Um, they answer the phone right away and they can help you out with anything in the system. Any questions about property flyers or how to edit them or the information on them? Uh, Nancy's question is, does the open house flyer to the website. I'm not sure what that means. Um, we do have, there is an open house flyer specifically for an open house. Um, let me see if I can get over there really quickly. Um, for select design, you'll see um, there's the open house layout. Um, if you have an open house, it will put those dates and times on here for you. Um, so, and then that will be, <clears throat> that will be the property flyer on that, um, on that website. So say you wanted to add an open house date. So we'll do this really quickly. You would go to OH times. Let's just add in an open house date. I know this is crazy times, but I'm just trying to do it quickly. Okay, there's your open house dates and times. Let's just add another one to see what it will do. Okay, so we'll click save. Okay, now we will go back to our flyers. And you'll see it shows here on any of the flyers, but if you choose that open house flyer, there's your upcoming open houses. So you can save this as your property flyer and then yes, that will show on the property website as the property flyer. You'll still have the neighborhood flyer too, but if you choose the open house layout, it will that will be the layout you chose, so it will show as the property flyer. Any other questions? Um, yes, you can send open houses to your Facebook Facebook page as well when you add those in. Any other questions about the property flyers? Remember, next week we're doing the CMA report, um, which is really easy to create for any of your listings. Um, and then you can download that as a PDF as well. So we will cover that next week. Like I said, if you ever have any questions or you ever need help with anything, please feel free to call our support team or give them a chat. They will be happy to help with anything you need. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next Wednesday. Um, have a great rest of your week. Bye, everybody.